What's going on guys? Welcome back to WWE 2K23 My Rise. Now we have the woman's story, the legacy. So let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. <laughs> of course, that match was an instant classic. But Justine, which match of yours Stone was Cold? a classic? Oh, you're way too kind, Robin. To point out that very real truth. Were you nervous at all? Me? Nervous? <laughs> of course not. Okay, I Cena. A match on lock. Hawk? In fact, I was always calm, cool, and collected from my first day in the ring to my sixth championship victory. Oh, we're in the 2002 Raw Arena? Wait, this is kind of sick. I can't even lie, this is sick. And who is she? Is this going to be the character that we're using? Justine. All right, who are we going to be facing? Who are we going to be facing here? Start off with a bang. Molly, Holly, okay. And she's the woman's champion. And I think there's gonna be a title match as well. And the title is on the line as we will be taking on Molly Holly for the WWE Women's Championship. All right, let's go, let's go. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, okay. Molly, calm down, bro. It just started. It just started. No, you thought. Come on. Yup. Start building momentum with a light combo on Molly Holly. I got you. There we go. What's next? What's next? Molly can't catch you. Dodge Molly's attack. All right, come on, Molly. Get up. Get up. Come on. Dodge it. Come on. Watch this. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. You're not even moving. And I still dodge. Come on. I'm that good. Make Molly Holly remember her last moments as champion with an opponent taunt. All right, hold on. Okay, never mind, Molly. Never mind. You can calm down. And why am I Justine? First off, who is Justine in this story? All right, opponent taunt. What is it? This one? Let's go. Come on. Get up, Molly. What's next? Okay. Right. Time to the middle rope and hit Molly with a Justine Jammer finisher. What in the? F there ain't no way she gets up as soon as I get. It. I can't stand you. Oh, the Justine Jam. Okay. Take that title from Molly Holly and win the WWE Women's Championship. Come on. End it. End it right there. Please do me a favor. Let's go. Let's go. And the new Women's Champion, Justine. Don't know who you are still, but I'll take the title. What's this? Watching my first title win again. <laughs> After you talked it up so much on your podcast this week, how can I not? Dude. Don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic match. I just figured you had it memorized by now. Sure, but it's a tradition at this point. Is it my favorite aunt? Only aunt. Watch your most epic victories. And now also stress about what I have to live up to in my debut at Survivor Series tomorrow night. <laughs> uh, why are you laughing? Oh, nothing. Just that if I didn't know better, I'd say you were nervous, which Ooh. is super hilarious. I didn't worry. Because I know that I didn't teach my favorite niece. Only niece. To be nervous about getting in the ring and doing what she does best. Yeah. Mm. Especially not when she's been trained by one of the biggest legends in the business. Yeah, right, calm down. If I'm being honest, there's really no comparison. <laughs> you really do manage to turn everything into a compliment about yourself. Don't real you? shit. Of course I do. Conceded. I'm a six time women's champion. All right. Would have been 10 if my career hadn't been cut short by injury. I get it. A main hey, eventer and Hall of Famer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who had the top merch sales in the 2003 fiscal year. We get year. it. Okay, you made your point. I should get ready for tomorrow. That's my girl. What is wrong with her? As the mystery SmackDown competitor, shouldn't I have been shuttled in secretly or something? Ooh. The whole golf cart with the black sheets get up. Soraya Knight, aka no Paige, is back. Yet, no one knows who you are yet. Oh, they know who I am. Tom, Justine, and LJ too. It's so LJ. good to see you both. Same here, Tom. Wait, do you even still go by LJ? Nope. Man. It was always a hoot and a half having you backstage when you were a kid, dressing up in Justine's gear, being her shadow, her little Justine. But suppose you're not eight anymore, huh? No. Nope. It's fine. But I am trying to get known on my own here. I've heard. Good thing you're debuting tonight. The secret's pretty much out backstage. Yeah. A few more hours and it'd be out to the entire WWE universe. You doing something here tonight too, Justine? Nope, just here to support my niece's big moment. Thank you. Come on. Surely you'll find some way to steal who, who, the spotlight. Who is talking? Molly. Oh, Justine. God. Here we wow, go. I, I've got a... I, I better go check on the... Uh, yeah. 
I got no good reason, but I'm gonna leave now. I yeah, bro. you were working backstage these days. Feet sitting at home, talking to the internet. It's called a podcast, and it's very popular. But I'm not here to resurrect old rivalries. What are you here for, then? Would you really call it a rivalry if there's a clear conclusion and undisputed winner? Damn. I was actually here to greet our newest WWE superstar. Wish her luck. She doesn't you. need luck. And let True. her know that I'll be working with her to get her ready for her Survivor Series debut this evening. Wait, debut? Is that all right? A Survivor Series? No, that's great. I'm so excited to be here representing Team SmackDown. Yep. Great. Get settled and then let's talk. Justine. Molly. Please don't make things more difficult for me on my first day. For real. Besides, you two were friends once. Sorry, you're right. It's just, well, you know what she did. It might be ancient history and there's no reason for her to mess with you, but be careful with Molly, okay? I'm gonna go say hello to people. Have fun. You all right? I'm, I'm chill. All right. I'm about I'm to become ready. one of the greatest Divas champions yeah, to ever live. Are. Okay? I love you, kid. You'll do great. Thank you. I already know this. I'm gonna be one of the greatest Divas champions to ever live. It's almost Survivor Series time. Who's winning this women's Survivor Series match? Will it be Team Raw with Charlotte, Rhea, and Bailey, Or will Team SmackDown have the upper hand with Liv, Bianca, and their mystery competitor, Paige? All right, Charlotte, what you want, girl? I hope you don't think we're going to be friends. I don't want to be your friend. I certainly won't be taking it easy on you tonight. That's cool. I don't care. Why would you think I'd want to be friends with you? Real shit. Because we both come from famous WWE lineage. Okay. But let's be real. We're not the same. Yeah. You're just... Never mind. Let me stop. You're I'm right. better. I'm better than you, both in the ring and out. Ugh. I have a lot of respect for your aunt. Thank you. you. Not so much. That's cool. You're only here because you're cashing in on her legacy. That's rich coming from you. Do your you. best not to make all of us second generation superstars look bad, okay? Though it's gonna be hard tonight when you're competing against me and the rest of Team Raw. You literally made your name off of your dad's legacy. What are you talking about? Hey, What's up, B? nice to finally meet the EST of WWE. Who, me? What? Isn't that you? <laughs> As in new S superstar Ooh, okay, WWE. Ready to show Team nice Raw what's up tonight? Yeah, let's go. You know it. That's exactly what I'm here to do. Now that's the confidence I like to hear. Is and there... remember, the rest of Team SmackDown has your back. Thank you. Although, ideally, we would have at least met each other to get on the same page before today. It's all good. That's how Vince books the women division. Yeah, they said they were really trying to keep my debut a secret. I get it. Mm -hmm. The WWE Universe is going to lose their minds when they realize you're related to Justine. And don't think I'm not going to fangirl out and grill you after we win. You got to tell me exactly what she's like. Let's leave the semantics for later. Listen, I love my aunt. I even spent summers traveling with her on tour growing up. But it's important for me to make my own mark in WWE. Hopefully I can do that tonight. You know the EST is all about standing out, so I understand completely. Uh-huh. See you out there tonight. We got this. Of course we do. Ava Moreno, who the hell are you, girl? Hi, I'm... LJ. Little Justine. No. Yeah, I'm Paige. Oh, precious. Yeah. I was actually going to say I recognize you from NXT 2.0. Ava Moreno, right? You had some great matches with Cora Jade. I didn't realize you had gotten drafted to SmackDown. Guess your famous WWE legend aunt hasn't been able to get you up to speed on everything. Bro, are you okay? Honestly, we've been pretty busy prepping for my debut. I'm a little out of the loop on everything else. Who's your match with tonight? I don't have a match on the show tonight. Oh. Not all of us are able to skip the line, LJ. One, my name is Paige. Have some respect. And what's with the attitude? Did I do something wrong? What's with the attitude? Let me lay it out for you. Lay it out. A girl named Ava works her whole life to be the best athlete she can be. Mm -hmm. Excels at some things naturally, puts in the time to get better at the rest. Mm -hmm. Gets signed to WWE, continues to grind at the Performance Center doing everything the WWE way. Mm -hmm. Makes a mark on NXT 2.0, wins her matches, and gets signed to SmackDown. Mm -hmm. Sounds pretty great, right? Sounds great, yeah. Yeah, sounds like it. Some of us work hard. Some of us work harder. 
Okay. And some of us, LJ, get to waltz into Survivor Series and get put into a match that the rest of us, those of us who have done everything by the book, would kill for. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. My aunt is a legend, but yeah. I'm good at this. Facts. I got here on my own. Facts. I'm not just some nepotism signing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> got here on your own? We'll see what happens tonight. Okay. Maybe you are good, and you'll prove that. Okay. Regardless, I haven't been given the same opportunity on this brand. I'm sorry. I am. So excuse me if I don't play nice with little Justine, the legacy hire. Listen, my name is Paige. Once again. Soria wasn't able to check in with you sooner. It's always nuts backstage before a major show. And I lost a full 20 minutes to Happy Corbin, who wanted to practice a stand-up routine on me. Luckily, Zia Lee overheard and protected me from his bad jokes. How are you doing? Feeling good about tonight? What do you want from me, Molly? Honestly, I'm ready. I've trained my whole life for this. All right. Let's take that confidence, earned or not, and channel Excuse it into me? a great debut. For what it's worth, despite my history with your aunt, it really is my goal to help you succeed here. I don't trust you, you one bit. You guys have some history, huh? That's a conversation for another day. Stick around here long enough and you'll have history with everyone. Alliances, rivalries, heck, we even have our fair share of weddings. Although those rarely seem to work out. But let's talk about your debut. I've got your custom gear ready. Custom gear? What do you mean? Honestly, I get it. I wouldn't want to debut in it either. No, I mean, I have no idea what you're talking about. Like, what? Huh. Not sure how this didn't get to you, but WWE management asked that you debut in a look that honors Justine's legacy. Oh, so they've Jesus. made gear inspired by what your aunt wore when she won her first championship. Not that that specific match would be the moment I'd choose to commemorate. Justine got lucky. But I brought my own gear. I designed it myself. Besides, I'm not sure if I want to use my aunt's image to establish my own. I want to make my own mark. Yep. Listen, despite my personal feelings, it never hurts to get a rub from a WWE legend. It's also probably not wise to go against management on day one. But I know it's important to stand on your own two feet around here. Ultimately, the decision is yours. Ooh. What do you want to do? I love my aunt and she taught me a lot. But if I'm going to make it here, I need to make my own mark. I'm going to wear the gear I designed. All right. We'll see how management reacts. Standing your ground can really go either way around here. But if you're determined to make your own mark, you better have the performance out there to back it up. Oh, I will. Go get changed. It's go time. And here we go. Paige, Liv, and Bianca are now on team. Smackdown taking on Team Raw of Rhea, Bailey, and Charlotte. And we are here to make a name for ourselves. And here we go. Opening up the matches now. Us and Rhea in the ring. And Rhea with a chop right back to us. Okay, Rhea. I need you to calm down. This is my first match against us. Well, now the Smackdown Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley, with a drop kick to us right there. It's going to be a tough task. Is our first match going to be against honestly legends of the business? All five of these women are legends. You're putting Rhea into the corner. Hit her with a running knee. Going up to the second rope. And hit her with a oh my god, a senton. Alright, get up. Get up. Okay, gotta inflict some more damage on Rhea. Almost there. Oh, and a drop kick. Alright, what's next? Now it's the time to make an impact. Hit Rhea with a standing strike while in the ring. Alright. What's happening now? Kick to oh, the okay. She certainly has the confidence of her aunt. Let's go, Paige. Looks like she's setting up for the Justine Jammer. She's putting her own mark on an old classic. Not if Bro. Charlotte Flair has anything to say about it. You only have one chance to make a oh, first no. impression, and this one might include a hurt ankle. Oh, no, Riptide. Rhea's taking advantage. Riptide, covered by Ripley. Help me. Rhea got her. With the elimination, Team Raw now has the advantage. What a letdown for the Blue Squad. She definitely didn't expect to be out so early in this match. The top rope mishap and apparent ankle injury played a key role in that. And it looks like Charlotte Flair is determined to add insult to injury. Charlotte! Wait a minute. 
Hall of Famer Justine is here. We haven't seen Justine in a WWE arena for over a decade. One thing is clear, the WWE Universe is thrilled to see this venerated six-time women's champion here tonight in any circumstance. And it looks like Justine is just as thrilled to see them. Things might not have turned out how she wanted for her niece, but she's loving this crowd. I'm just hoping that Justine can get her niece on the right track. After this debut, she certainly needs some guidance. Oh, God. Liv, please don't be mad at me, Liv. What was that about? I like to show off as much as the next person, but that was embarrassing. I'm sorry, Liv. I'm sorry. sorry. I understand why you're upset, but I did my best. I did. You grew up learning from one of the most talented WWE legends in history, and that's your best? Well, I did a better job teaching myself in my backyard. Don't expect this to blow over with the SmackDown Women's Locker Room. The Raw women are going to rub this loss in our faces for a long time. I'm sorry, Liv. I didn't mean to fuck it up. Who do you want? I can't say that was the debut we were hoping for. Not even close. I don't know what happened out there. I wanted to make a name for myself based on my own talent. And you decided to do something showy. Took your eyes off of what was happening and let Charlotte blindside you. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't let it happen again. I got carried away. I did. You did. Remember, you're here because you're good. Okay. And you could be great. Facts. I wouldn't have any patience for Justine's brat, no talent niece. Whoa. But don't expect everything to come all at once. You could have gone out there and had a solid match, and that would have been enough, win or lose. But you bit off more than you could chew. True. Maybe you're right. Of course I'm right. I'm a WWE legend. I'll do my best at damage control. You're already off to a rough start with management. They weren't thrilled that you decided against wearing the tribute gear. Although maybe I can spin that since it wasn't exactly the performance they would have wanted to be associated with Justine's legacy. Actually worked out for the best. See, I'm smart. Nope, they'll just associate it with little old me. I've already seen the chatter on social media. Great, you're worried about social media at a time like this? Get your head in the game. I'll see you at SmackDown and we'll take it from there. All right, Molly, I'm sorry. Listen, Auntie. Pop? What? The sound of my ankle popping or my <laughs> career imploding? Oh, how is that ankle? Wha or more importantly, how's that ego? Ankle's okay. Ego? That's another story. You really went for it out there, huh? Of course I did. Didn't hold back. I'm the niece of one of the most venerated WWE legends of all time. Facts. I needed to make my own mark and stand out. Facts. I still do. Yep. You need to take your time and not overthink this. But you're still learning, and regardless, Charlotte acted out of line. If I was medically cleared for in-ring action, I would put the queen in her place. Believe me, I'm mad about it. But I'm not sure that Charlotte did anything you wouldn't have done. True. Nah. But one of the perks of having a career-ending injury is getting to apply unrealistic standards on the next generation. Why do you think I liked training you so much? Right. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to leave if you need to talk, but I got word that WWE management wants to chat before we head out. Something about the buzz online, whatever that means. You okay? I'm resilient. If anyone taught me how to be resilient, it's you. I'm fine. I'll talk to you later. That's my girl. I'll find you in a bit. What have I done? All right, y'all, we're going to end off this video right here. And if you guys enjoyed the first episode of The Legacy, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and also make sure to check out my other videos on my channel right over here.